What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. Uh, I am back here in Michigan overlooking the water right now, early this Sunday morning. And I was trying to actually save this conversation uh, for tomorrow, for the live stream tomorrow on the Millionaire Morning Show, because I can't understand for the life of me why Malika Andrews is still on ESPN but Jalen Rose and Max Kellerman and all of the people that actually added value into these conversations are not. And I have a theory. I have a theory. I have a, a hypothesis as to why that is. Um, and again, I'm gonna deep dive into it a little bit further on the Millionaire Morning Show tomorrow morning. So make sure that y'all tuned in for that. Uh, make sure y'all tapped into the Patreon. I just dropped some posts and some videos into the Patreon today and yesterday. So that link is in the description. And make sure y'all get that Teach Handley 30% off your first order plus a free gift. Um, but I have a theory, right? And uh, my theory is simply comes back down to this, that she's a woman. That's my, my theory. That's my uh, assumption. That's my hypothesis, my educated guess. Because there's no reason in the world and no way in the world. I thought that ESPN was largely a space similar to some of these spaces on YouTube where men can come together and enjoy something without women having a conversation say so. And if you are going to have a conversation and say so, then be able to add value, right? Because it's one thing to come into men's spaces and be a disruption. But it's another thing to be able to come in and add value. And in my personal opinion, I think that ESPN is going down the drain. It's one of the reasons why Fox Sports was absolutely destroying them as far as Skip and Shannon. And I wish they would have kept Skip and Shannon together uh, on Undisputed because they couldn't match. They couldn't match them even a little bit. They had a really great thing going. But you got to respect uh, uh, Shannon's decision to be able to move on past uh that and hopefully he got something planned that's pretty awesome hopefully it's not with espn let me say this i do not want to see shannon sharp on an espn platform i know that they just gave pat and them boys over the, the bag right and so i know pat and them is getting the bag from espn they was able to make a play on that um, and maybe their budgets is, is, is all out of whack. I know ESPN and Disney specifically is trying to shut money down or trying to kill off uh, a lot of the, the money that they have to spend in order to really be able to pay off a lot of this debt that they got coming through. But all of that is going to be broken down on the Millionaire Morning Show to a, to a much more extensive degree because we all know that it all comes back down to the money. But the question then becomes still coming back to the money, you got to get the people what they actually want to see. And ESPN has been falling off and they're falling off even more. And I think that Stephen A. Smith might be next. I think that that's why you starting to see the Stephen A. Smith show on YouTube, why he's trying to cover different subjects, do his own thing now, because I think that the writing is on the wall. And so a lot of these guys are, are starting to try to create their own thing. Um, and again, this is just my opinion. This is not anything that I have confirmed. And I got the, the, the new sports channel coming and all of that. So I'm looking forward to having those debates and conversations with you guys. But I think that a lot of these guys are uncertain about what's going to happen and what their position is uh, in this new digital wave of what ESPN and all of these other shows are starting to put together. And so they see how, how you know, a lot of these content creators are moving independently on their own and on their own platforms. I don't think a lot of them is going to be able to survive. I don't think a lot of them can create content by themselves because it is very hard. It, it, it requires much, much, much more of your energy. Um, you don't have a big push. You don't have a big budget push. And you, you don't have a studio and all that other type of stuff. And so it's going to be it's going to be some dry days out here for a lot of people that was being supported by and taken care of by ESPN. Now, I think that Max Kellerman is gonna fall on his feet. I think he's gonna be fine. Uh, shout out to Jalen Rose, uh, Detroit Bredren. I think that Jalen Rose is gonna figure it out. Um, but they let go over 20 different people from the fallout and the layout from ESPN. And I don't think that ESPN has a pulse of the streets. I don't know who running it over there. I don't know who got things in control over there. 
Um, but they're not listening to their users. They're not listening to their core audience. They're not listening to the people that actually support the platform. And I think that ESPN has been making a lot of mistakes, right? The first mistake that they, they tried to make was they, they tried to pivot over from sports into social issues and politics. And people wasn't feeling it, right? We went there for the entertainment. We went there for our share of sports. And it's, you know, that example could be illustrated no bigger than what you've seen during the pandemic, right? When they started doing all of the Black Lives Matters on the courts and stuff, I see they, they're not really acknowledging that. When the NBA did that, they had a huge fallout, right? And so when they start pivoting over into politics and social issues and all of this other type of stuff, that was a problem because they was already putting in, putting on a lackluster show, right? We didn't even like to see Molly on there, but who can say? But the fact that they now are keeping Malika Andrews, and you can see it, like they should really get a pulse of what people are saying out here in these streets. They should be reading their comments. They should be looking at the vlogs. They should be looking at the posts. They should be looking at the reaction videos. They should be getting a better understanding of what the heck is happening. Um, as far as what people want, and you have to get back to the brass tacks of things and give people what they want. And then you build up from there. You don't start by getting rid of the talent that the people actually want to hear. Maybe you replace that talent with younger, better people. And I think that I think that these large networks are starting to try to go the same way as the music industry and that they're trying to find access already ready-made and built up. Maybe if Shannon Sharp does a deal over there and go over there, maybe not. Maybe FanDuel. Uh, puts Shannon Sharp together and get him to do something that's that's completely independent and separate. And they fund it and they allow for him to be able to do what it is that he do. Who knows, right? But when you seen Pat get that deal, but Pat was able to build his brand up and do his own thing without the help of, you know, a ESPN or Fox Sports, which is one of the reasons why it's similar to the music industry in that, you know, they're trying to find a ready-made acts. They're not trying to do the A&R thing. They're not trying to sign an unhot, you know, uh, unsigned artists and try to develop them and try to take a chance on them. They're not, that's over. That's over. If you want to deal or you want to be able to get in, get your foot in the game or do something on these big networks where they paying you five, 10, 15, 20 million dollars a year, one million dollar a year, whatever it is. I don't know what some of these guys' salaries are. I know he, uh, um, Stephen A. Smith is getting a bag. Maybe he messed up the budget for everybody else. Hey, get yours, Steve. But you're going to start to see them trying to look for ready-made products and that's just, that's what they're going to get the bag through but again to see malika andrews i will never be watching uh, a disney espn product i don't even like i got rid of the disney app the disney plus app because i didn't like you know they stance of what they was trying to put out there to kids but you will never see me watching anything with Malika Andrews except to react to the stuff that she does that's absolutely egregious like she did during draft night. And it's stupid. It's so dumb. But this is what we get. This is what happens when you open that genie and you start to advocate for and you pushing all of this narrative behind women. You're going to get bad movies on Disney, such as Captain Marvel and all of that, and you're going to get Malika Andrews on ESPN. But I want to know what y'all think. Let me know in the comments. Anton Daniels, make sure y'all tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. More to come.